What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. One of the big selling points of the Infuse 4G, aside from its gorgeous 4.5 inch screen, is that 4G part in the name. So regardless of whether or not you think HSPA Plus uh, belongs being called 4G, uh, AT&T is calling it as such. The Infuse is the first device that's got support for HSDPA Cat 14, uh, which means very fast downloads, uh, supposedly up to 21 megabits per second. Uh, as well as support for HSUPA CAT6, which is fancy term for really fast uploads. So let's go ahead and run a speed test. The HSPA Plus network uh, isn't rolled out really everywhere in the country yet. Uh, we happen to have it here in Southern California. You can see that H Plus logo uh, with pretty nice service bars there. So I figured let's run a speed test. Let's see how fast this really is going to be. Now the usual caveats apply. It's gonna vary depending where in the country you are, the time of day, the speed test app, Sort of all the stuff you can expect. This is a very unscientific test. Mostly I'm just curious. So we'll go ahead and run the test. We'll use the speedtest.net app. You can see a previous result. We'll go ahead and restart it. It's gonna ping the LA based server. And in an upcoming video, I will run a test uh, comparing AT&T's 4G offering to Verizon's LTE, T-Mobile's HSPA Plus, uh, and Sprint's WiMAX. So I've run this test a few times, and I've gotten speeds about as low as 1.5 down, uh, and as high as about 6 on the download. Uh, uploads have been pretty consistent at about 1.5, which is pretty nice uh, upload speeds. So certainly we're not looking, uh, at least right now, as fast as Verizon's LTE, but much faster than what AT&T was previously offering and what you could get on a device like the Inspire 4G. So let's go ahead and bring in a 3G only device. That's a lot of Gs. Uh, here we've got the iPhone 4 not connected to Wi-Fi with pretty solid 3G service. We're gonna run the same speed test app and see what our results are. So let me go ahead and open it up. At least you can get a chance to see the differences. And again, all the usual caveats apply, time of day, test, network, um, all that thing. Very unscientific test. This is mostly a curiosity thing. So we'll go ahead and let this guy run. So we're looking at about 2.6 now on the download. Wow, that's extremely fast. This is actually the fastest that I've seen uh, AT&T's 3G network go. It was actually quicker uh, than the HSPA Plus. Uh, the upload looks like it's gonna be a little bit slower, but very fast speeds here uh, from the iPhone 4. Uh, again, this is no Wi-Fi. This is just straight up network speeds. So pretty nice results, actually. So in case you guys were wondering what sort of speeds you can expect uh, as the infrastructure continues to get rolled out, uh, presumably the Infuse is going to get a little bit faster than what the iPhone 4 uh, or any other uh, 3G phones can offer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this real quick network speed test. I want to know what you guys get. Run a speed test app and let's see what you guys are pulling in, where you are, and leave in the comments uh, what phone you guys are running. Let's sort of compare. Uh, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you in the next video. Oh,